placing your packages on Python Path. In the previous video, we were looking at a module located at my package inheritance animal.py. So we were looking at a module located inside this package which I have created, my package. If you look at the contents of my package, you'll see that this is a package by the presence of a file called init.py. I simply use the touch command to create init.py. init.py does not have to include any data. It only has to exist inside of a directory for that directory to work as a package. There are some subdirectories, inheritance, iteration, and structures. And each of these also contains a file called init.py. You'll also notice there are some directories called pycache. These are created automatically by Python as the package is used. And we won't focus on them. We will only focus on the subdirectories that I implemented inheritance, iteration, and structures. Let's start up Python from within the my package directory. And let's try to import some of what we used in the previous video. Oops. This should have been from inheritance, import animal. Okay, that worked. So from within my package, we can find the subdirectory inheritance and we can import the module animal. Likewise, from inheritance animal, we could import the classes we used, horse and human. If you don't understand anything of what just happened here, please see the previous video on inheritance to learn more about these classes. Our goal here is simply to see that we can import and use these classes without a problem when we start Python from within the directory my package. Now, let's navigate to the home directory. And let's start up Python again. Well, that didn't work. What about from my package? should be like that from my package dot inheritance import animal well that didn't work either well as you might have guessed we can't find the package from somewhere outside of the package we're going to have to use the path variable 
for Python to be able to find this package that we have created. So if we import sys and then we print out the variable called sys.path you'll see a list of strings and each string is a directory which could contain Python packages. In other words, this is the path on which Python looks to find a package when we import it. So it works very much in the same way that the path variable does in bash. We can import math, no problem. We could import sys, no problem. We could import re. This is no problem because all of these modules exist somewhere on this path, somewhere in this list of directories. So our goal is to get the location of the package called my package into this list of directories. So let's do that. One way you might be able to do that is to simply append a string into sys.path that would include that would be the location of my package but this is pretty inefficient you'd have to change it every time let's come up with a more sustainable way to change Python path we're actually going to change a bash variable called Python path which right now contains nothing. This variable Python path is one of several locations that Python includes in sys.path when compiling a list of locations to look for packages. So if we put a new directory into Python path, then sys.path will look different the next time we try to print it. So first, let's get the directory that we wanted. We'll cd, cd there just to make sure it exists. For ling 402, examples, week 10. And that is where my package is located. I'm interested in getting this far. I'll print the working directory. And I'll just copy that. And then I'm going to use a command called export, which you may have seen before when changing the path variable. Now we're going to change the Python path variable. And we're going to paste the name of the directory we're interested in, followed by a colon, followed by the value currently stored at Python path. So just like when resetting the path, the reason we want to do this is because we want to add a directory to the path without removing any of the directories that are already on the path. So we're basically appending a directory to Python path. And those directories are separated by colons. And so that's why we've placed a colon in that location. OK. We'll echo Python path. Good. This is what we expect to see. Now. Let's go back to the home directory, and we'll start Python 3 again. And just to check, first of all, let's import sys and print sys.path. And you may have to look for it, but there it is. OK, we've now included this new directory in sys.path because we placed it onto the bash variable python path. Let's try to import my package. 
fine. How about from my package inheritance animal import horse and human. No errors. Excellent. So by placing our new directory onto the bash variable or into the bash variable Python path, that directory will be included in sys.path. In other words, it's included in the list of directories that Python will use to look for packages. In this way, you can use your own user implemented packages from anywhere in the system when you use the Python interpreter. I should add that using the export command to change the variable Python path is still not a permanent fix. It will work for the duration of your bash session, but as soon as you sign out and sign on again, Python path will be reset to its default value, or you'll lose the changes you made to it. So a more permanent fix would be to place the same export statement that we used, export Python path equals, and so on, to place that inside your bash RC.